All right, so recently uh, this mod came out, Immersive Weapon Integration, a uh, huge, huge weapons mod that adds, uh, what's it say, like 600 and something, 621 items into the game. Um, the interesting thing about it is he went through and created level lists that put most of these weapons into the game onto named NPCs. Um, most of the time, most uh, mods that add weapons just add them into the standard level list that you only see on certain NPCs and bandits and stuff like that. So he went through and actually created lists that go on the NPCs or on the normal named ones that you see. So seeing that, um, the main issue with that is he adds a new record into the NPC record. Um, the problem with that is if you have an overhaul that also touches that NPC record, it requires to be patched together. So I just wanted to do a video on how uh, simple patches work, um, how you can make them. Because uh, I see all the time on Nexus, especially, uh, people asking for patches for mods that are super simple and you, anyone could make a patch themselves. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit about level lists uh, just to finish off the video. So uh, go in here and X edit, and the first thing. I'll just use an example here, uh, AI Overhaul. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward mod. Um, it edits a bunch of NPC records and adds in new AI packages to the NPC record. The AI packages are just these records that tell the game where that NPC can go, what it does, and stuff like that. Uh, so. What you need to do is have this new package in the NPC overhauls record. So normally when you're looking at it, it'll be, it'll have that. So we want this over here. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. The easiest way is just direct copy. Um, you just copy over the record into the other mod. So if like in this case, I would just take this whole thing and drop it. Um, the issue with doing that is if um, the overhaul ever gets updated, the ESP will change, so you'd lose all your, your changes. Um, so you really only want to do that if it's a mod that's not going to get updated. Um, you know, some of these mods haven't been updated since 2017, so they're probably not going to get updated anymore. In that instance, I wouldn't really worry too much about it, but mods that are more recent are probably going to get updates. So if that's the case, you want to make your your own patch. So you want to make a new mod um, to put all these changes in. And you can do an all-in-one, which is what I would recommend. You can add it to an existing merge or just something that's not going to change. Um, so what you do is you want to go through and basically look and write down all the NPC overhauls that this mod touches. So you got Bajin in there, you got um, Inhabitants, I got Diversity, uh, Pandorable, Better Men. So most of my NPC overhauls um, have new AI packages from this AI overhaul mod. So what you want to do is you want to go to the MPC um, overhaul. So in this case, we'll just do this one for better men. So we want to go to this mod. So you can just control left click and that'll take you into this mod. You want to take your MPC record here, right click it, copy, Deep copy is override into, and then you're going to put it where you want. So if you're going to make your own new all-in-one patch, you click new file, click OK, name it whatever you want, and you'll get a little pop-up 
Um, actually, we'll show you right here. I'll just put it in this test mod. Click OK. You'll get this little pop up saying that it needs the masters. Uh, that's just saying for the patch to work, you're going to need better men uh, loaded, which is obvious since that's the mod you're patching. So you just click OK. Um, and then all these NPC records will now be in your new patch at the very end. So then you just go through, do that for all your MPC overhauls, copy them all in there, and then come back up to your AI overhaul and just start at the top and just go down the line. So you're looking for your packages here. You just click at the very top to grab them all and you just drop them. So, and that's it. You would, um, I mean, you could do them each individually. But there's no reason to do that because you want this whole row. And you would do that for all of them. You just go down the line. Um, you just go from here and drop it. And just make sure it changes because sometimes if you kind of like not right on there, it won't uh, copy over right. But yeah, and then you just go down the line and then you just made one patch instead of having five different patches for five different MPC overhauls. Um, and then you got to merge those and instead you just made your all in one merge real quick and it only takes a couple minutes. Um, AI overhaul doesn't have that many records, so doing it would take you like 10 minutes. Um, now for this new mod, Immersive Weapon Integration, it has a lot. He edited like every NPC in the game almost. I mean, there's, <laughs> goes on for a while. All these NPCs. Um, all he did was he added a new record into each one that links to a leveled list. Um, normally, most NPCs have a single weapon record, so this NPC will only carry a steel mace and nothing else. Um, a lot of them just carry like iron daggers. Um, this one actually has a leveled list, but a lot of them, like here we go, iron dagger. So many NPCs have nothing but an iron dagger. Now what he did was he went in, he created some new level lists, and a level list is just a list of items that the game can pull from. It's like a roll of the dice. It'll roll the dice and it comes up with one of the items in the list. So if you control left click, it'll take you into the level list. And as you can see, I have a ton of mods that affect this level list. But now that NPC, when it spawns, it has it has 75 different um, weapons that it can, different daggers that can spawn on it instead of just an iron dagger. It can still have an iron dagger, as you can see, it's the first one there. But then it can have all these other daggers too. Um, so. That's also I want to mention it's so important to merge your leveled lists. Um, as you can see, just this one list here has like 10 different mods I have that add to it. Um, you can see these numbers here. This is how many um, how many items are in the list. Without using a program like Mater Smash or Wirebash to merge these, whatever one's last is what's going to win. So right now I'd be stuck with this one, only 11 entries, and that's it. So with my Mater Smash Pash, I now have 75. Um, uh, you'll notice not all of these carry forward. Uh, Mater doesn't carry everything because you don't really need duplicates of the same there's no real reason to have, unless you wanted more chances for the generic Iron Dagger to show up. You only need one entry for that, so that's fine. I mean, you could even get rid of it altogether if you didn't want the Iron Daggers to ever show up. Um, but now, yeah, that NPC can have all these freaking daggers instead of just that one. So it's pretty cool. Um, 
The issue is patching it all because there's so many entries. Um, unfortunately with this one, there's not really an easy, simple way to do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same way as I showed on the other one. It's just going to be a lot more um, entries to go through. Uh, but yeah, the best way would just be going through whichever one has any kind of uh, overhaul. That's the one you want to patch it with. Uh, you do the same thing. You could copy it into that same test patch. And then you would just do the same thing. So like this one, we already had the AI overhaul copied. So now we want this one. Um, and you can get rid of the one that's there. So because you want it set up just how this one has it. So just these. So you drag this one. Uh, it's going to ask for, it might ask for the master thing. That's the same as before. Just hit yes. And then you go ahead and remove. Oops, I removed the whole thing. Well, you can then just copy all those over. That works too. Uh, that's another thing. You don't even have to delete it. You could just, uh, you could just drag the whole thing over. And then uh, now as long as this is set up the same as that, now this NPC can have this whole list of tons of different daggers that can spawn on that NPC. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it would work the same way as the other one, just it's going to take more time. Uh, this one will probably take me like an hour or so. Um, but once you're done, you're done, even if it gets updated, which it probably will because it's a new mod, you'll have all your NPC overhauls uh, already set for that record to be in your for that NPC um, and yeah and that's also why you should you, know, you have to be running something to merge your level list another note I wanted to make on level lists is about um, uh, containers and outfits um, so containers are are um, are what the game uses for chests. It uses it for invent or um, shopkeepers. Um, so their inventories are based on container lists. Uh, so if you look at, let's go to uh, which mod am I on here? All right, let's close this one. Close out of that one. All right, so smash patch containers. So you can see these are chess records. Um, some of these are for stores. Uh, these use a similar similar level list uh, setup. So what I'll do is you have multiple mods that affect it, and it will pull from a list um, depending on what you have here. Now. What I notice with Mater Smash is sometimes it won't copy everything I want. Um, as you can see, it you should have some of these copied over, uh, not just the stuff at the bottom. Um, one easy way is if you have all these lists and you have it like that, you can look at the total counts, and then I can just go like this, and now that matches up. Now I'll have all the containers. Uh, one thing I noticed with some mods, and I don't know why, so this is a good one. No matter what flags I set, bash patch flags I set, it will not carry forward um, the container records. Not that one. There's a couple other ones. So let's scroll down here. Yeah, here we go. So it made her smash here. It should be carrying these over. So this should show up here. I don't know why it's not. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but there's some quirks with Mater where it just, even if I set it to, um, no matter what I set the tag to, even if I set it to force, it still won't do anything with this mod for the container so in that case you can just drag them over um, it's kind of important to look through your mods especially containers because that's the one I see that messes up a lot 
And so if you're, you have a mod that's supposed to add like books to a vendor and they're never showing up, that's probably what's happening is the record isn't in the right place. It should be um, at the very end there. And that way you'll actually get all your stuff where it's supposed to be. Um, the last thing I would kind of want to mention about level lists was outfits. They're not exactly level lists, um, but it's important to look at your outfits to see uh, if the characters are wearing what you want them to be wearing. Um, because you can't really combine outfit lists. It'll just kind of work like a, like a regular record. It'll pick whatever's at the bottom, but I noticed if there's extra stuff on your outfit list, it'll put it in your invent in the NPC's inventory. So if you've ever seen like um, like a bandit with four different sets of gear in their inventory, they probably have a bunch of crap in their outfit leveled list. Um, so these I kind of usually just go through each mod and see different ones that affect uh, outfits, and then just kind of pick what I want, um, like. I have a couple different cloak mods and you can only have one cloak that's going to be shown so you just kind of pick which one you want um yeah and i'll just go through and be like a uh, vampire outfit and then i can i have some of these set up as level lists so this will pick from well this is just boots and it has two different boots but um yeah, it's just something to keep in mind. Like uh, one thing I notice is the guard overhaul one, especially you want to just copy the guard outfit over. So this is over at the end here or else you won't get that set up where all the guards are wearing that new guard overhaul outfit. Um, let's see anything else. Uh, outfits, outfits. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, mainly just wanted to talk about basic patching. Uh, I think in the next video, I'll probably try to do a merge. Uh, talk about merge plugins. Um, it's kind of a iffy one because you got to be careful what you're merging. Because um, say you merge like three mods that affect the same thing. It's only going to pull record if it has the same record it's only going to pull the last one so you kind of got to know what order you want and what you want so it's usually best practice is to bring up all the patches in xedit look through make changes in xedit and then merge them um, so i'll try to do something on that on my next video because i know it's been requested um, Anyway, hope this was helpful, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.